Kenya against Spain. It's the first final four here at the Gather Pacific Credit Suisse Hong Kong Sevens 2011. Look at that, they met in 2008, the last time, a long time ago, nearly three years ago. And it's Kenya. Strong team, they've put out this is their best lineup. Maybe Sydney Ashoya, number one, might be called in for his speed. William Mbaka's bound to come off the bench. But this is a vastly experienced team with Koyangi, number six, his brother, number 11, Colin Jinjira. Gibson Wera Kahutia there in the centre, Bika Adima also in the centres of the field, and Lavano Saga, the expert kickoff man who gives Kenya so many advantages in that area. But Spain have battled hard, coming to Hong Kong for the first time, and uh, they've made a final, so that'll be pleasing for them. So this is their sixth outing. And they lost to South Africa, they lost to Wales, they beat Hong Kong, they beat Mexico, they beat Zimbabwe. So they've had three wins in a row. This is the best lineup Spain can put out here in Hong Kong. The referee is James Matthew of Scotland, and it's the Shield final, the first final of four. And in many ways, it's rather surprising to see Kenya here because in their time, they've been uh, a finalist in the very top level of competition with most of these players. That was in Adelaide in 2009 when they played the final against South Africa and lost by 26 to 7. So they've been an IRB Sevens Tournament Cup final finalist. But their form has fallen away and they're now here at the Shield final. Remember, there are four levels of final. The shield is the first, then the plate, then the bowl, and finally the cup. And if you just come to us, the cup final will be between the two teams who are top of the IRB circuit. Top equal after half of the... After half of the season. Oh, lovely run here. Juan Cano. He scored right there in the previous game when they were on against Zimbabwe, and he gets another one. So Spain, rather easy, wasn't it? Some of the uh, defence a bit wayward there, and then a little bit of space, and then we must mention, look at this flailing hands from Lavana Sago, rather than committed tackling, and that's been a disappointment for Kenya right through this tournament and in recent tournaments. Don't want to come down too hard on them, but they've had some glory days, and they're not quite matching that now. There is the last conversion by Pedro Martin. Try score here, Juan Cano. This is rugby in France. Pedro Martin will go back to kickoff. His brother is there, number seven and number 12. Nice kick, floating high. Ooh, they, the Kenyans let it go, but it was lost forward rather than going out on the foot. So it'll be a scrum there with Kenya having a chance. One thing we have to mention when you're looking at the finals, and we welcome a new audience which has come in from all over the world for the playing of these finals. The ground is a bit slippery and treacherous. There was rain, misty, drizzly rain for not for long, but it's left the field a little bit slippy. Good effort by the new referee on the tour, James Matthew. He's uh, got a final, that's pretty good for him. Here comes Biko Adima. Excellent tackle by Pablo Fiju. So can they move it out to the speed man? Here's Humphrey Kayangi. And that's a dongle easily picked there by his uh, white leggings this is nice passing but not quite prepared to take it wide a sego a dongo there's the familiar figure of gabby lee gabriel lee she's uh touch judge there referee's assistant and uh called it correctly they slid across near the corner Go. 
Rapt release. Lovely kick away to touch. In tough times for Benjamin Ayimba and his team. Earlier in the circuit, they were disrupted by some prominent players uh, not being cleared to uh, come and play because of work commitments. Then there was uh, university examinations. These are amateur players. So it's hard to get their team together, but they're all clear for the Hong Kong event. And it just hasn't quite worked out for them. But here they are, flashing the ball around. They're against... A willing team in Spain who are leading at the moment seven to two and a half minutes to go. Yeah, the Scottish accent of James Matthew there. Collins and Jira, he gets so many tries with just that kind of form. And he's got another one. And that uh, levels the try scoring up, the kick conversion may make the difference. What's the referee saying? It's uh, now they're saying that. They, have a look at this again. The try has been disallowed. Jumping, fully jumping. Now there's a penalty in there. Jumping fully into the tackle. You can't jump into it. You can't jump into the tackle, jumping. says the referee. So that's the Jumped. reason why that try was disallowed. Looked pretty good to me. Not straight. Strum called. Right. Humphrey Koyangi, great leader of the Kenyan team. Time off. So we're going to have a look at that try again with the Collins and Jira, this man's brother, and it's to, all about jumping into jumping into the tackle. Now look at this. Crouch. That's the next one. It's the Touch. next one, I think. Pause. Engage. It uh, looks like he's ruled it was dangerous to be jumping. Uh, out of the defence like that, the flying knees could uh, cause an injury. It's a rare one. But here's the same man in action at the 22. Run. 7 to nil. Spain oh, leads in the Shield final. A blue, no hands. Koyanki, all the possession in the last minutes with uh, Kenya. Asego, Injira finds his brother. I wonder how many times they did that growing up. It worked in the backyard, and it's not going to work in this big backyard they're playing in now. Good defence, tenacious by Spain, especially Carlos Blanco, Blanco number two. And that's not a bad idea to kick it away. It's very slippery, and the ball has bounced end over end 60 metres upfield. And with the clock ticking down to the end of the half, here's Kenya now with Lavin Asego. They've got to build it up from the back. Leon Adongo. Good chase up by the Attack Spanish roll. players, there's four of them there, and they've closed down the attack. But that, that means with four of them there, there's only three guarding the other space on the field, and it's a lovely open space to run into. Nice run there by Gibson, where Kahutia, number nine. First man. Seven is Biko Adema. Rock, don't try to win. There's the hooter for half time. They'll get it and kick it out, and Spain will be happy with that. Well, that was a good save, but what a good kick to clear it all that way and take it out of the danger zone. Excellent effort. Good understanding of the game by Spain and the time it takes to get the ball back down to the try line. And so they go to the half-time break in the lead over Kenya by seven points to nil. Kenya have not yet done that in the world of 15 aside rugby, but they've been uh, very prominent in the sevens scene. And they've had some wonderful moments. Very popular team. But 
in Spain doing very well. We look at the big uh, backdrop to this stadium. It's in a little bowl here at Saint Compo and surrounded on the hills behind these these uh, shell grandstands. A big towering block, some of them 50, 60 stories high, and they overlook the action. Levin Asego. This is captain Humphrey Kayangi. Second half begins of the first of these finals. We know now the big TV audience has kicked in Sky Sport and TV New Zealand in New Zealand, Super Sport in South Africa, the Pacific represented by Samoa, Fiji, and Tongan TV, Solomon Islands also, Sky Sport UK taking all matches today. Nui, little Nui, proud to have you on board, the Cook Islands as well. ESPN in Latin America and Mexico, Portugal, Eurosport and Fox Australia. Hello, hello to all you in Australia and a special welcome to NBC USA who have joined us for the finals. It's great to be at your wonderful tournament in Las Vegas just a, a month ago. And to work with Brian Hightower and Gareth Reese and the commentary team up there. We had a great final up there between South Africa and Fiji. It was only a quarter-final here, that match-up. And it'll be New Zealand against England in the cup final after this Release final and two others have been completed. The crowd just taking a breath here on this final, the Shield final. It's final four in its status. Trying to burst away is Kayangi. In goes Blanco, that's a good tackle. Oh, space though. Lovely run in by Andrew Amonde. So finally they're on the board. Kanyagi got caught here. Some tough defence by Blanco, but they just made a little bit of a gap. And Amonde yeah, ran into it, and away he went to score. He's the 25-year-old Nairobi, the Harlequins club there. Very prominent Kenyan club it is too. So the conversion is over. It's now seven all. There's one of those towering kickoffs by Eleven Asego. Just goes to that dotted line, which is so where it must go from the restart. Juan Cano, the try scorer for Spain. Over halfway they come. This is good aggressive play. This is Ignacio Martin. Here they come again. Look for his brother down in the foreground. And he's got the ball. Pedro Martin, 20 metres out. Grasping the ball is just a little bit different with the dew and the, the, the rain, gentle rain that fell on the sitting on the grass surface. Here is made by the Spanish. It's all tied up. Four minutes to play. Kenya's had much more of the ball, and that's why those that pass completed graphic is so much in their favour. But Spain have one try to match the try scored by Kenya. Sego to Biko Adema to Collins and Jerry. Now he's quick. He, he's likely to have a go if he can find space. We decided against it. It was well covered by Pedro Martin. These passes are connecting, so that uh, graphic we saw will have more added to it. Nice running here by Oscar Ulmuk, who's come off the bench. Away from Amonde. Now to the Biko Adema. This looks like try time. And it is Biko Adema. He plays for the top popularly known back home as Nondis, which is short for the Nondescript. And he's uh, easily recognisable with his uh, headgear that he plays in. He was one of the guys affected by examinations for his uh, studies. But he's over for the try there to give Kenya back the lead. Now he's going to have the shot for the conversion.
So we look at the score and it's now favouring Kenya by five points, but that means Spain, if they get a try and make the conversion, can still snatch this one out of the fire. Two minutes and 13 seconds to go. And maybe a last look at the excellence of the kickoff that's come from number 10 for Kenya, Asego. Just checking that the bounce will come to his boot cleanly. And he pops it up high. Look how the big, tall, lanky guys could get in for the jump. It was a pretty good effort on the jump by Collins and Jira. But it was lost forward. When the ball is forward, of course, it's a scrum. And uh, looks like a substitution, just a gesture there to the sideline. And is this Njira? No, it might be uh, Asago. Ravan Asago looks like he's okay. Maybe there's a bit of cramping. These guys have played, uh, this is their sixth game. And a pretty packed program, not much time to rest and recover and recuperate, but they keep coming back. Triumphs and disappointments along the way for each of these teams. The Kenyans had a shock loss to Russia on the first day. Then on the second day, they beat Malaysia, but lost to Fiji. Got a hammering from Fiji, 40 to nil, but have had two wins today. And are in the lead here. Martin, caught by Kanyangi. Blanco away, here comes Spain again. Great to see them in action. That's a good run by Pablo Fiju. Halfway line. Martin, Ignacio Martin. Good work here by Negrillo. Ignacio Martin. But they've got to get through, and the clock is ticking down inside the last minute, as you see. They're going to try it by hand, by foot. Loose ball, slippery ground. Blanco dives, did he get it down? Let's look at the man win the white behind with the flag. He will shake his head, or not, when he talks with the referee. A decision, please. Uh, uh, grounding by blue. Grounded by blue. Yes. Try. Yes. Thank you. Try is awarded. Well, that is a, a critical call. A try is awarded to this man, Carlos Blanco. Carlos Blanco. Now, just to the eye, it didn't look like he did. There's the slippery ball, towed by Blanco, and then he has to chase before it gets into the dead ball area. He dives. You see, we've got the advantage of the replay. The judge there, right there, has ruled it as a try when you must have control of the ball in the motion of the try. You don't have to have downward pressure on it. That helps. And the conversion is just astray. So we have a tied-up game. And with just seconds remaining, we could go to extra time in this one. And extra time is certainly sudden death. They play until somebody scores a try, and that's game over. Substitution. For Spain, coming on as the speed man, Sidney Asioya. Time on. So the last seconds of this game, a try must be scored by either side, or we, otherwise we go into cutthroat. The referee might blow for full time now that that ball's been lost. And he has. It's a draw. It's a draw, but there's one minute of turnaround time and then the shield final will be decided by one try first team to score wins the shield well I wonder if the Kenyan team will feel aggrieved at their last decision Benjamin Ayimba looking philosophical. It's not worthwhile in rushing to this, onto the field to uh, to see it again. Let's have a look at that try again, played by Carlos Blanco. He's got to get control of the ball. There's his hand on it. But there's no way that's controlled. And you see the touch judge, the, the his referee's assistant in the in-goal area, was right there. So his view is perhaps different to what we've seen on the video replay, but there's no calling in of a, a television match official sitting in the grandstand. And that's considered to a, something which slowed the game down. 
So it's made on the calls of the referees and his assistants. Sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. It's all part of the rub of the green. <whistles> Referee James Matthews. A kickoff. Now we're into extra time. There it is. First team to score. It could be by penalty, it could be by drop goal, it could be by a try. Martin Heredia is on the field. So too is Marcus Poggi. They've made some changes to bring some fresh runners in. It's all about one scoring movement. Ignacio Martin is still there. So too is Carlos Branca, who scored the last try to tie it all up. This is looking good for Spain. There's a man loose out wide, but it wasn't the pass that was slightly in front of him to make him run onto it. They still have possession. Those Kenyans have got real speed. A penalty. Now will they have a shot? They could have a shot for goal. You see, they're discussing it. They're discussing it. Pablo Feju, a penalty kick Quickly. in sevens is very rare. And he's signaled to the seconds. referee he will try for a penalty goal to win the game. And I mentioned any of the scoring ways. A drop kick from the field, a penalty or a try. So this decides the game. It also gives possession to Kenya. Let's look for the flags. It's a miss. So Kenya will restart with a dropout from the 22. So a moment of decision there for Spain. Juan Ignacio Inchausti, the man with the ID around his neck. There's nothing he can do now. He can just watch as Adima gives one of his very highest restarts. And the jump went off a... It went... Off a Kenyan hand advantage played back to Spain, so this is good for Spain. But in the tumble and the maul, the grasping, a penalty has been awarded for Kenyan. Now they've got some good runners. They've got good men to guide it, like Asago. Here they are building it up nicely. Oscar Omer. Benedict Nyambu was on from the bench. So there's lots of fresh players out. Ashioya off the bench. Adima. Sudden death, extra time. Keep coming. Quickly taking penalty. Good to have Kayangi there, the guiding hand. no hands. 23 meters out. Change of direction to find the teammate. Look at that big pass. One of the Spanish players is down. So it's seven against six. And here's the man to make the win for Kenya. Sydney Asioya. Try scored. Game over. The first of our four finals has gone to extra time. And big disappointment for Spain. But if we think about that controversial try late in the in the game that was awarded theirs when perhaps our replay showed that it wasn't, then maybe this is justice. That rugby ball, it bounces low, it bounces low, then it will hop up. And these guys know this only too well, so Ashioya was patient, got the bounce, scored the winner.